Hi right, guys, Batch here. Welcome to Bison Country. Let's have a look at the map and see where we are. Right down the bottom left hand corner this time. And apparently this is Bison Country. This has been recorded over a couple of sessions, a couple of hunts. The first hunt was very frustrating and the second hunt was fantastic. So let's have a look how this went. Now this is the first hunt. Me leaving the outpost. No, I didn't see a bison for an hour or two. So I found this one. Had a buddy with him. Now I'm using the .338 for this hunt. It's the biggest caliber gun there is. So it should put down these bison pretty good. Oh, that's the plan. <laughs> Nothing really ever goes to plan, but let's see how it goes. Alright, so we've shot this one. He's actually gone down in the one, one hit, so that's pretty good. Now I did shoot a bison before this and I forgot to record it. I have got a nice photo, but I forgot to record the whole thing. So it was very frustrating from my end and from the game's end on the first hunt. But I did get that one, so it was pretty cool. I started pretty early in the morning. But it seems these bison come out later in the afternoon, so it's probably not worth starting super early. Unless you just want to have a good look at the map. I've got another one in front of me. He's through the trees in the fog. I heard him. So I popped the bullet in that was behind. And hopefully that does the job. They're a really big animal. They weigh over 900 kilos, some of them. So close to a ton. So you probably don't want to be charged down by them. Bison will attack. They're a very aggressive animal at close range. And let's see if we've hit this one. And they do pretty big poo. So that's pretty easy to follow the tracks and the big poo they do. So we have hit it. So it's going to be up this hill somewhere. Here it is laying down. It's gone down. They hit it in the right spot in the rear, the bullet will travel into their stomach. So it's not a bad shot if that's all you've got. You've got to take it. There we go, there's another bison to the list. They're a good looking animal really. And a different colour than the ones we have in the Hunter. Call, uh, the hunter. Classic. They're more orangey and black type thing. These are just pretty much straight out tan and brown. Unfortunately, a lot of the times you find these bison in really wooded, forested areas, not out in the open. Got a couple over here, a little herd. I went for a long shot on that one. So I'll have to go see what I've done. Hopefully I've hit it in the lungs. There's a lot of bison areas like this feed one here. And they're actually pretty reliable. I've got a lot of my bisons around the feed areas at the right time that it tells you on the map. Wandering through from one to the other. So it's worth checking out, opening up the feed areas and then just stalking around them at the right time of day. So it's pretty rare to see the bison out in the open fields, so they were always in areas like this. Right, so I've got this one, it's a pretty good one. Only a one shot. So they've got nice fur on them. Not overly big horns. That's the same in the Hunter Classic. The horns aren't huge on these things. And if you look at some of the weights of these things, they're very heavy. <laughs> a very heavy animal. They're probably pound for pound the most dangerous animal in the game. Uh, we've got a, these, they're in the zone there, lying in a rest zone. So I've clicked on that one, I've got the zone. So that helps me open the map up a bit more. Let's 
see if we can put a bullet in it. And with the long shot again, you can see that's a decent size herd. Now my one's just sitting there, there it is calling, it's the one I've shot. And I must have hit it in the lung because it went, just done a few <laughs> moans and groans and then went down, poor thing. Let's go have a look at it. Now this was an extremely long hunt, the second half of this. I did hunt well into the, the daylight faded and I was pretty much in the dark towards the end. Wow, that's a big muscly looking bison, isn't it? Not bad at all. So the one shot did put that down. If you do hit them in the lung or in the right area, they will go down. If you hit them in the wrong area, these things get quite violent. If you're close, and they will charge you. As you will see in this video, I do take a couple of bison on. <laughs> just for something to do, really. Play chicken with a bison. Let's see who comes off second best. Now here's the map. You see, you've got the feed zones all around. I'm opening them up. I haven't opened the whole map up yet. That's not my intention for this hunt. My intention really was just to hunt bison and see how many I could find. Alright, got some up here. Make a noise. It's pretty far away. Right, hopefully I've hit that as I've told you this point three three eight isn't the most accurate gun in the game. I think it runs at ten percent, especially over long distances. The bullets must start to drop or move off the aim point, so and I have noticed that over some of the longer shots this gun isn't very accurate. I've got a dancing one here. Try and put one into its line. Oh, it glitched, glitched out there or it moved really quick. Let's go have a look. What's it doing? Oh yeah, check that out. That's pretty freaky. <laughs> look at that. That's funny as. Alright, as you can see, it's gone up on the ridge there. Try and get another shot into it. And it flew like Superman and went to there. So that's glitched. It has got a bullet in it. We've whacked another one in it. Alright, so that thing has been shot at least two or three times. But I'll have to leave that because I have shot the other one and I have to track that down which is up this hill. So I will be back for that one later. Eventually it will go down. It's got two or three bullets in it. So let's go up the hill and try and track the one I shot in the back leg or the butt or whatever it was. Bison tracks all over this place. And there's just a feed bit down below me, a rest zone. So they're wandering through that and then to a feed zone. Right, there it is there. So that's the injured one I've been tracking. It's still going. Just got to get a bit closer to it so I can put a board in it. I'll get a clear shot at it. So it's onward and up the hill. These things can go pretty far if you don't shoot them right. Obviously I didn't shoot that right. There's a, you know, I just wanted to hit it to try and slow it down. I don't think I've slowed it down too much. Alright, we've spied it again. It's just through this tree here. Alright, that's hit it. So it's got another board in it. That's two boards. Doesn't look too happy. Oh no, it's gonna see what happens here. I think it's gonna charge me. 
Uh, probably shooting him in the skull isn't a good idea. He has a pretty hard head. Thick bones. Well, he did try to charge me, but then it changed direction, so I'm pretty lucky there. And after all that, it's finally gone down. So you can see if you use a lesser gun, if you're using a 270 on a bison, unless you long shoot it, you're going to be chasing this thing for ages. They're a strong, big animal. So you'll need a high caliber gun, something like the .338. And even then, you're not going to put them down straight away if you don't hit them right. There it is. Let's see how many times I hit it. Must have put at least two to three bullets in that. Oh, look at that. More than that. So every shot hit it, and shooting it in the head didn't do too much damage. Now here we are on the map. You can see all the feed and need zones we've got lying around. I've just been walking between them. That's the secret to the bison. Alright, that one looks like it got hit. So the chase is on yet again. So I doubt that was a kill shot. I was pretty frustrated the first hunt here. I was hardly seeing any bison at all. I didn't know where to look for them. Every time I went to a need or feed zone, I wasn't finding them. I don't know where they were. I could hear them every now and again. They don't make a lot of noise. Right, another charger. Luckily enough, I'll pop that one into its spine. Usually puts them down pretty quick. So that had three bullets in it. One in the butt. There's the spine one that eventually put it down. So they will charge you any chance they get. Be aware of that. Nice one down here. I'll pop a bullet in that one's back. And it's down, that's good. And he's got some buddies coming through. This one of the white head looks pretty interesting. And I'm pretty injured now. Yeah, it's running. Like that. Uh. Ooh, it ran straight up to me and headbutted me. So there you go. Look how quick it moved, it was, <laughs> the one with the white head was down there. Next minute it was right up next to me, trying to kill me. But I have got two down here and one injured. So this is turning out to be a good hunt. Frustrating at first, then I came back. And this is the afternoon, so... I tend to think the afternoon is the best time to go hunting for bison. So there seems to be a real lot of them around here. Uh, here's the first one. Should be down here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Then we'll have to chase that one up the white head. The one that head butted me. And we'll get a bit of payback on him. Uh, right in the back. And that put it down straight away. Not a bad size. Bison, that one, for a female. Alright, so let's get up the hill and see if we can find this one with the white face. So you can see I'm injured. He's down, so that's good. His head doesn't look as white close up, it did far away. So yeah, that one was pretty angry and headbutted me for shooting it. Can't blame it. 
Uh, and so that's really gone red now. There's the outpost. I've just moved across to that information rock and looking over the hill down into the woods. Now, this is a pretty good spot up here because there's a feed and need zone just down. Here comes another one through the woods. So I'll pop a bullet into this. If we can get a clear shot. Might let him wander out a bit so he can have a look at it. There you go, nice looking animal. Seems to have a GT stripe down its back. Oh, glitched out then a bit. That's probably just the way they move. It looks a bit glitchy on the rocks. So I'll try and get a lung shot into this. That was it. I went down. Good shot. So that most likely was a long shot. Went straight down. So no chance of getting <laughs> head butted by this one. You see, there's tracks everywhere here. Yeah, this hill's a, a good spot just to sit at the right time in the afternoon and watch them walk through. And that's another not too bad bison. <laughs> now I'm downhill and the bison's up the hill. I've hit that, and it's just taken off. They're not a very noisy animal when they... They don't make a lot of calls coming through the woods. This one's charging, also. Let's get a bit closer to it. Have a look at it. It's injured. It's got two bullets in it. And that also headbutted me. So that's a pretty strong bison, and it's got a few bullets in it, it has head but me and it's still running on. Seven to three three eight. Has trouble sometimes putting them down. And plus my shooting <laughs> isn't very good sometimes. There you go, got a bit of blood coming out of this thing. There it is, it has gone down. So it should have at least three bullets in it this one. All probably bad shots. Like his little hairdo he's got going there on his head. Yeah, three shots. So yeah, that pretty much hit its flesh, that middle one, and didn't even penetrate the bone. So, bad shooting by me. Now remember that one that glitched out? It was up on the rock, sort of dancing, and then it was right there behind me. Here it is. I've tracked that one down. I've gone back to that area, found the blood, and here it is. So that one went down. This should have at least three bullets in it as well. One was in the lung. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, only two. So yeah, that was the dancing bison that was stuck on the rock then glitched out. So we've collected that one. pretty far shot through the woods you have to wait till it moves through the trees before you take the shot and that's run off of course but it should be easily tracked once we find the blood and there it is and it's going up a hill <laughs> alright there's the bunch of bison over there so I put a bullet into another one so now we've got two out there that are injured. But I'm pretty sure they're all in the same herd. Here goes the first one that was injured, I think. Trying to kill me. He's a bit upset that I shot it. So they just flew out of nowhere at me. 
And it's run off down there somewhere. Alright, here's the other one I shot. Let's see that. First shot hit it in the leg and then we as it ran it got hit in the back. Now that other one that's injured's in this mob here, it's just on the side of the road. And I've got a sort of white bison here. Now I haven't seen this colour out of all of them, so this has got to be a fur variation or something. I'm not really sure what it is, but it is different and I want to shoot it. And the one that I injured that I haven't got yet is with this herd here. And he's right on the left in the trees. He's not on the road. But I'm really tempted to take a shot at the really light looking one. Because that's got to be a fur variation or it's a piebald. It's something weird. I don't think we have blonde bison so... I want to shoot that and find out what that is. So I've got to get a bit closer. I know this gun's so inaccurate over a long distance. There's that one that's injured. That's already got a bullet in it, that one over there. And I have been tracking it and the blood's led me here. That's him there. And you can see there's his track showing up again. That's the one that's bleeding. And I want to get that whitish looking one. Let me just get a little bit closer. And shoot the white one first. Then if the one that's injured hasn't run too far, I'll try and put a bullet in that and put it out of its misery. So I'm going for two here. Two bison. One's injured. One's white. But I really want both of them. It's pretty weird how they just rest in the middle of the road. Lucky there's no cars around here. They'd write your car off, wouldn't they, hitting a bison. Imagine explaining that to the insurance company. Not sure they'd believe you. Uh, getting a little bit closer, bit by bit. Uh, we're nearly getting to a place where I'm comfortable shooting at them. Uh, let's have another look. Alright, so I've got to shoot that one because it's injured. Well, that's just sitting around having a rest. And I'm going to shoot that white one. It'd be nice to shoot all of them, but that's not going to happen. Oh, unless these two go straight down and I keep tracking the herd. But as you can see, it's getting later into the afternoon now. Won't be long and it will be dark. Let's get a board into this. Alright, a little bit closer. Just inch my way. Ever so close. This is it. I'm going to go prone and take a shot. So I'm pretty sure I hit the white one. Now let's get the see what's happening with the injured one. There it is. Right, so he's got now two bullets in it. The white one's injured and running at me. So let's play chicken with a bison. See how that turns out. We want the hard shot. I'm sure I hit it. Oh. Oh yeah. Now I've been killed. With both them bison's are injured, and they're over near that waypoint mark that I luckily put over there when I was tracking the injured bison, because I had another one to catch, another one to track. So when I do that, I usually put a waypoint mark down. So I know where the original blood was. So I don't lose the spot. So yeah, I just got to run back there to the road. And here we are. And this blonde one, white one, things down. Oh, we got 
there's the rest of the herd still hanging around. It's pretty weird. Let's shoot one of them. Well, I've hit that. He's not going to like it. Right, there's two bullets in it. What's it doing? Alright. Let's run off. It's running at me. I might go prone again. Love playing chicken with bison again. Oh, he did hit bump me. They're very vicious. <laughs> so I'm injured again. Right, that thing's just gonna have to go down. Right? And I pulled out the old gun just to get a, a few bullets in it and hopefully stop it attacking me. Now let's have a look at this one. Look at that. Now that I haven't seen this fur colour on a bison yet. Yeah, and it's piebald. So I've got a piebald bison, another rare in this game. So my last rare here was an albino boar. Now I've got a piebald bison, pretty good. All right, here's that one that attacked me. And we should have the other first injured one. Or maybe that's the injured one that helped kill me with the piebald bison. Right, got another one here through the bush. As you can see, it's gone dark now. I've hit that one twice. So I'll go see what happened there. Alright, here's that other dead one. Another one that attacked me. You see I did hit it in the skull. It doesn't really do a lot of damage to their skulls. Let's go check this one out in the dark here. He went down as well. So you can see it's been a pretty good bison hunt, guys. It's been over two hunts, so I did have to cut a lot out of this. Um, not actually bison kills, but just a lot of other stuff I was going to show. But this thing would have went for an hour and a half. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I do have a little treat coming up. It's me falling off a cliff. I hope you enjoy it. See if I die or not. I went down into the gorge. Then I went all the way off the map, came back, and went the wrong way, and got stuck on a cliff. So thanks for dropping by, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. As I said, the first hunt for bison was frustrating. The next hunt was fantastic. This is the map you need to be on. And you can see, you get them all near the feeding need zones. Just open them up and you'll be right, guys. You'll find a heap of bison. Thanks for dropping by. Catch you on the next one.